and his father, who still runs a ballet school. His mother died in 1983. Another thing which I would very much like... Which I On a recent visit, there was some work to do as well. He took the opportunity to have discussions with a leading designer, Jens Jakob Vorso, who will work with him on a new Bornenfield production for Italy. And he met another leading Danish designer, Jean Faux, also working with him on a production for Italy. Yeah. Men man kan man kunne jo gøre det at hun skiftede kimono, altså man lavede ligesom kapper eller kimono, ikke? Schaufers left Denmark to break away from Danish tradition. But increasingly in his productions, his Danish inheritance is becoming important to him again. Before long, might his career turn a full circle? It's very difficult because um, I have tried with my Bonneville productions to, I wouldn't say to redo the productions, I've tried to bring them more up to today's theatre, with today's spirit. And uh, sometimes when you do that, it's very difficult to get accepted right away, especially in your own country. And especially in a place like Copenhagen, where the tradition of Bonneville is so intense. On the other hand, it would probably only be a matter of time uh, before one would work here in a Bonneville production, because at the moment I'm working all over the world, in all the big centers of ballet, doing uh, new productions of all the large Bonneville ballets. So perhaps one day I will also be doing it here, and it would be wonderful to come back and work with my uh, my own countrymen. It would be difficult to work in my own language, though. In Peter Schaffer's own words, dancing is a proper job. And to judge by the demands it makes in length of training, skill and application, it must rank beside any of the most committed vocations. But what other profession, after so many long years of training, would lead inevitably to such early retirement? Schaufus has given everything possible to achieve his success. He may have inherited a talent, but beyond that, the privilege stops. That talent is useless unless the owner is totally dedicated to developing it. A career in exile from his homeland. An early marriage failed. A dancer's relentless regime of physical training. No security and constant fear of injury that could end his career overnight. The price of freedom has been high. When I was in Denmark, I wanted to go away because I wanted to dance the big classics. When I danced the big classics, I wanted to go to America to work with Balanchine and Jay Robbins. And after that, I wanted to use what I learned in that company in the classics. And then I wanted to be able to work with other choreographers um, when things do happen like that, you're very fortunate, and uh, I have been very fortunate. But you do pay a price, of course, because to be fortunate, it doesn't just fall in your lap. You have to work very, very hard for it. And uh, there's hardly any time to have any personal or private life, also because you don't have time to establish one from traveling so much. So you do pay a price for everything, I think, in life. And uh, it's difficult to find an identity in a sense that I left my own country because of professional reasons and in a s because I wanted to learn more what was outside. But in a way, I know in my own country some people resent me because they feel I left because they weren't good enough, which is not uh, the case. It's just that I had this curious feeling I wanted to learn more or was outside. So in a way, uh, when you have been away from your own country a long time, you don't belong there anymore. So uh, you belong everywhere, in a sense, because I feel home everywhere, uh, all the big cities, and especially in London. I feel that's very much my home, uh, but I'm not British. 
So it's a little bit uh, sometimes difficult to have an identity because you either belong everywhere or nowhere. Um, but I must put that in relation to the work because when you do go to the theater, to the opera house, for me I was brought up, I was raised in the opera house since I can remember, since I was a baby, my mother took me to the opera house. When I get to the opera house, um, wherever it is, I always feel home there because that's where I was raised and uh, that's really my life.